I immediately asked them, I hope I can make my flight. Um, and they told me, you cannot fly today. And I asked them, it's almost three hours plus to my flight. Here is Andrew Esetowaha, oh a Nigerian doctor, narrating a three-hour harrowing experience after leading a Nigerian delegation to a conference on AIDS relief in Geneva. Strangely, he was detained and interrogated for being in possession of a laser pointer used for illustration during presentations. In Geneva, this pointer, uh, they have the strictest laws in the whole world that this pointer that I hold in my hand is uh, illegal. And even your wireless mouse that has infrared is also illegal in Geneva. They call them class one, class two um, things. But elsewhere in the US, in the UK, in most parts of the world, it is okay. That he had no prior information about items that are outlawed in Switzerland prompted the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission to urge the Swiss government to make the information public. If you are holding this, you are not allowed to travel with it, particularly in Geneva, Switzerland. And we appeal to the Geneva authorities, let it be on the, uh, at the airports, right, that you hold this, throw it, don't put it in your bag. I think it's, that's just the simple information. But it's not just you, I guess it's everybody, not just... It's everyone. It's everyone. So it's just for them that, to, that, to have that information there. For instance, if you go to Indonesia, right at the airport, you carry drugs, death. It's there, it's, it's all about the place. Dr. Esetowakan says the Swiss authorities infringed on his rights of privacy while in detention. I don't have any issues with the Swiss government. It's their law. I, if it's, even, even if it's, 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 this is an innocuous thing, it is their law and I respect their law. But what I do not, cannot condone is I was humiliated in the airport. I, I, did not, I, I went to the bathroom with a police officer, I had my prints taken. I was in a cell uh, for close to three hours. Um, and, and that basically is my story, um, just to be, um, as somebody said, a scapegoat. However, he is silent about pressing charges for the abuse of his rights by the Swiss authorities. Godfrey Eshamogay, Arise News.